Hello and welcome to another Nerd Central review. Today I am going to be taking a look at the longly anticipated review in my series from a few of my subscribers, which is uh, Doctor Who, the complete third series of the modern series starring David Tennant. So yeah, let's take a look at the packaging of this and my thoughts on it. Taking a look at the packaging, you can see that the this year, well, not this year, but where for the third box set, they have ditched, like, you know, the plastic cover that went on the outside in favour of just this cardboard one, which is a bit odd, because I sort of like them plastic ones, because it kept them, all these little booklets inside from falling out. But, yeah, anyway, onto the cover itself. On this side, it has a picture of the Tenth Doctor, played by David Tennant, with his sonic screwdriver. Uh, the Master, played by John Sim. Uh, the Complete Third Series, PJ, DVD video. BBC DVD, Dot 2 logo, they're standing on what looks like the grating of the TARDIS, like when it's been cannibalised. On the side it says Doctor Who, the Doctor Who, the complete third series, PG, BBC, DVD, uh, the same motif of that, uh, TARDIS grating. Then, over, then on the other side there's a picture of David Tennant's Doctor and Martha Jones in a very dramatic running pose, Looks like they're running from some fire, again, a bit in front of that grating. And there is uh, Doctor Who, the Doctor Who logo, uh, the complete third series, PG, DVD. Uh, there is uh, another Doctor Who logo, third series. And now we'll take a look at the two little, uh, what's it called, box sets inside. Now, when you uh, take a look inside the box set, you see that... It comes with these two little uh, little booklets, which in contain all the uh, discs. And but first of all, it comes with this episode guide, which is kind of cool. It has a pic the same picture of the Doctor and the Master on again, Doctor Who series three. Then, if you look through it, it has a kind of a cool picture of the Master regenerating, and then information on each episode. You know, like episode names, chapter points. Uh, yeah, just. All that there's an image of the doctor and that there's an image of human nature, image of 42, etc. So, and yeah, it's just like basically telling you about chapter points and that. So, taking a look at the little booklets themselves, uh, well, I don't know booklets, but you know what. Uh, yeah, again, it's like the series 2 one, except this time it has some Gallifrey and text in gold this time, whereas I think on the series 2 one it was silver, I don't know. But yeah, there's a picture from of the Carrionites, picture from uh, the Shakespeare Code, uh, the Christmas Special, what's it called, the Runaway Bride. Uh, yeah, there's all just different pictures from the first uh, three discs of the series, so basically the first half of the series. And if you look inside, uh, the first one with episode, this disc one, which has the Runaway Bride and Music and Monsters, which is basically just something to do with their plums. This two, which has Smith and Jones, uh, the Shakespeare Code, and Gridlock on. And then there is this three, which has Daleks in Manhattan, Evolution of the Daleks, the Lazarus Experiment, and 42 on. And they're in front of that background from Gridlock, you know, like New New Earth. Uh, so yeah, that and this come in this sort of silver motif with like Gallifrey and writing on it, it's kind of cool. Looking at the second one, you can see that it is very similar again, except this time it comes with images from the second half of the series, so you can look there again, like Gallifrey and writing again. Yeah, just this four, five, and six. It just comes with loads of images from like the finale, and then this time uh, it comes with the discs again, but they're in front of an image of the master, which just let me get this out here. Yeah, image of the master and the top cliff end. So yeah, it comes with it, an image of that. So yeah, this disc four, human nature, the family of blood and blink with a nice weeping angel on there. There's disc five with utopia, the sound of drums, and last of the time lords. A nice picture of the master there standing from the TARDIS. Then there's a picture of Captain Jack, and it says Doctor Who confidential. So yeah. Uh, nice way of storing these instead of having them like if you look at the series 5 di DVD it comes on them little like blue trades it's a better way of storing them than that so yeah uh, that's the inside of the packaging now to take a look at what my thoughts are on the episodes themselves now on to my thoughts of the series itself 
Well, I think that just an overall the series. It's a good. It's a blood. It's a strong series from David Tennant. Uh, one of his best, in my opinion, to be honest. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm sounding like this, I'm trying a new format where I sort of have. I have what I think have been written down, and I'll just go through each episode and tell you what I think. So yeah, just a little note for you. Uh, there's the one. The runaway bride. A uh, good Christmas special, in my opinion. Introduces Donna Noble, which comes back later in the series four, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, good, uh, what's it called, uh, Christmas special. Uh, yeah, it's better than some of the other ones we've had. Yeah, it's all right. It's quite good, I think. Uh, Smith and Jones, good series opener, I think. Uh, one that you can just sit back and relax, not take seriously. Introduces Martha, who some people don't like, but I do. Introduces Martha. Uh, the, the villain, all right, the sort of... Like, what are they called again? The Jadoom, just basically out of space police. Wish we'd see more of them to develop them more. Yeah, so that's a good episode. The Shakespeare Code, good episode in my opinion. Brilliant setting, like the Shakespearean times. Uh, awesome to see the Doctor go there. Awesome to see Martha go there. Some brilliant dialogue. Love the aspect of the witches. That's really cool. So, yeah, good episode. Uh, next episode on the list is Gridlock. Uh, I think that's a good episode. Some people don't like it that much. But I think it's just from what's it called childhood sake, just like memories. I really do, even when I watch it now, enjoy this one, to be honest. I don't know what it's about it. I know the Mac are as good as they were before, apparently. But I do enjoy it for some reason. I, it's just me, I can't explain it. It's one of the stuff where you can't explain why I like it. Now on to some of the lesser good ones in the series. There is the Daleks in Manhattan. An okay episode. I just don't think the dialects were that well in like uh, the 1930s setting. It's just a bit weird and Daleks in Manhattan's a bit strange like with the pig slaves and that. It seems a bit done Dalek-y but I don't know. But I don't know. I, it's weird. I can't explain it. I'm not that keen on it to be honest. It's one of the not as well good Dalek stories from the new series in my opinion. Excuse me. Uh, next one is Evolutions of the Daleks. Yes, another okay story. Better than the first part because there's more action in this one. Some awesome Dalek sequences. But yeah, it's a bit cheap how they just get destroyed at the end with just like the Dalek human soldiers and then they just get killed. So it was really a bit. Ah, oh, so nothing's changed then. It's a bit, uh, a bit pointless. Uh, now on to another episode The Lazarus Experiment. No, a few people don't like this, but I think it's a good episode in my opinion. I love the element of this man who's trying to make himself younger, which we all want to do, but ends up transforming himself into this monster, proving that you know, like, you can't escape time, and time always catches up with you. And I think it's sort of cool. You have some very good dialogue from David Tennant. Uh, yes, so that's another good one. The, the monster design is brilliant as well, and how it sucks the life out of people is awesome. Next one on the list is 42. Another good one. Some people don't like it, but I like it. Good sci-fi setting. Claustrophobic setting. Really unique idea, actually. 42 is the amount of minutes of the episode. So, yeah, really good idea. Just like, it's, a, it's a real-time episode, to be honest. Like It goes along as the episode does, which is a really cool idea. Like It makes you feel like you're actually there, and I really like it. Next one is a Human Nature. Now, that's bl a Human Nature and a Family of Blood. Now, they're two brilliant stories adapted from the what I've heard. Brilliant, I've got to get it. Seventh Doctor novel. Uh, brilliant stories, in my opinion. The Doctor becoming human. You see this dilemma with Martha who fancies him. And you see him, like... You see the Doctor... Or Mr. Smith, as he calls himself. Actually learn to love this woman in uh, Old Fashioned Day. Like, uh, 1910. But then this family's after him and you just... To see some brilliant acting from David and he just it's heart, it's heartbreaking that moment like when he has to basically kill himself to save everybody but yeah brilliant story absolutely awesome story in my opinion really do like that one the next one's Blink good introduction yeah good story to like the Weeping Angels a bit Doctor Light which is a bit odd because I prefer, I'd have preferred it if like we had a full David Tennant Doctor, no, a full David Tennant, you know, like Weeping Angel story, you know, like with him in it fully. Like, if anybody reads the comics, there's a comic where David Tennant feet versus the Weeping Angels in World War One. I. I think it would have been cool to see something like that. But yeah, going off the point, good story, some genuinely scary moments of fighting me as a kid in this. 
and yeah, a good week. An angel story, not as good as everybody says it is, but it's still a good story. Uh, now onto the next one, Utopia, The Sound of Drums, and Last of the Time Lord. Yeah, these are... Uh, a lot of people don't like the series three finale, but I do. Utopia is absolute classic of the modern series, I have to say. Going to this far distant future, everything's like dying and decaying. You have this Professor Yana who just seems like a sweet old man. And everything's going good and that. And then, what's it called? Uh, then you find you see this drumming being implanted in his head and you're like oh why does he keep hearing that drums every time we go to him and then it's revealed that it's a master and that is such an awesome reveal a brilliant moment for the master brilliant way to bring him back into new who uh i wish they'd have kept david jacoby on more because i think he had really really high potential i do like john sim but i just think david jacoby and them moments he were there he had such good like charisma on screen like how he was so sinister and that but yeah, uh, now on to the sound of drums and last of the time, lads. Uh, I think they're two awesome episodes, in my opinion. Um, I love the plot of the master having to take over the world, and basically, every, and just seeing a scenario of what would happen if the master does win, which is kind of unique, I think, because I don't know if there was a story before when the master, apart from the Gopolis, but you actually see an apocalyptic situation where. What if the Master actually beat the Doctor and ruled the Earth? And I think it's a really cool moment. And I like that moment in Last of the Time Lords when they have to defeat him. It's just, like, so cool. Cause, and it's so sad, like, even that moment gets me to this day. Like, when David Tennant, he thinks, the Doctor thinks he's finally found another Time Lord in the universe. So he's not alone. And then he just gets shot by Lucy and then he dies in his arms. Uh, such a sad moment. Remind me a bit of Star Wars though when he burnt his body, but yeah, such a sad moment and a brilliant end to the series, I think. And also a good cliffhanger for what's it called? Uh, what was it called? That that Christmas special. Uh, the Voyage of the Damned. Yeah, good Christmas. No, good cliffhanger for that. So yeah, uh, brilliant, strong series overall. I think it's my favourite of David's, to be honest. You know, like the Tenth Doctor. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Nerd Central. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this story. Oh, no, not this story. Tell me what you think of this series. And, uh, tell me what's your favourite David Tennant series. And I shall be ne I shall be back next with either series four of, uh, the new series. Or I shall be back with another Big Finish review. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.